Thanks for watching JapsgoTech.com. I'm Jeff Lander. And I'm Mike Irving. And today we're going to show you how to winterize your Cyclone Circulation Pump. Now check these out. These pumps are a little quirky when it comes to winterization, mainly because of the fact that they're not soft priming. So there's a couple ways you can, you can do it. You can either pour the fluid right into the pump head while the pump's running, or go ahead and take the, the feed hose off wherever the, the feed is and pour the propylene glycol right into the feed hose. This is a special edition of Jabs Go Tech. We're actually going to head out to Salem Harbor, get down and dirty, go on the boat in the gauntlet, and show you how it's done. Let's get at it. Here's the seacock we're working with today. It's coming over plumbed to the sea strainer, then to the cyclone pump, which then feeds the air conditioning unit. All right, we're going to go ahead and winterize that cyclone pump we talked about in the office. You're going to need a nut driver, a screwdriver, a funnel, and a gallon of antifreeze. What we're going to do is we're actually going to take that hose off the seacock after that seacock is closed. It's key right there. And we're going to put the hose right up into the funnel and pour the antifreeze right down that funnel. It's going to circulate through the system. Now, we're going to show you how to do it in this next clip. We can't talk because we actually have this pump hooked up to an AC unit. And the AC unit's noisy, but we'll show you how to do it. Now, uh, because this is hooked up to an AC unit, it's going to keep on running for a little bit longer. And right now, You've got antifreeze from the sea stringer into the pump, up through the hose, and into the AC unit. This one's done. So that was a pretty cool afternoon on the gauntlet. We showed you how to winterize one of our cyclone pumps. So Jeff, what did it take? It was easy, Mike. It took about 15-20 minutes, if that. All you need, a funnel and a gallon of that propylene glycol. What we did, we closed the seacock, disconnected the hose, lifted it up, Put the funnel on top of the hose and then pour some propylene glycol down the, into the funnel, down the hose, so that way we can gravity feed the pump. Yep. Now, the pump was running because you want to push it through the entire system. In our case, it was hooked up to an AC unit. We want to make sure that we winterize the entire AC unit as well. So, I'm Mike Irving. And I'm Jeff Lander. Thanks a lot for watching this episode of Jabsco Tech. There'll be more videos coming up.